All right. Um, now going on to this one, what they're asking us is what is the measure of my arc MP? All right. Now when I automatically look at this, I see that PN is going to be a uh, is my di is a diameter, right? This cuts the circle in half. Therefore, that creates a semicircle. So I know that the arc, the measure of arc PN, is equal to 180 degrees, right? 180 degrees. Does everybody understand that? It's a semicircle. We talked about semicircles, 180 degrees. The next thing we talked about is when you have uh, um, an angle that is on the circle, it's not a central angle, right? But the vertex is on the circle, then the measure of MN is going to be 2 times, um, two times this angle. So it'd be 2 times 31 degrees. That was in our notes that we talked about. So that's going to be 62 degrees. Right? It's double your um, angle. To find this arc, we, remember when it was like this, if you have a central angle, the arc is the same as the central angle. right? But when you have the angle on the, on the vertex is on the circle, it's double the value to find the arc measure of your angle. So therefore, it's 2 times 31 equals 62. So now I know from here to here is 62 degrees. Now remember, the sum of all of our arcs, or all of our central, all of our arcs is going to add up to 360. So I know from here to here is 360, here to here is 62 degrees, and the one thing that I'm trying to figure out is from here to here. So yes, Mario? Because that was in the notes that we did last class period, that when we're trying to find the arc and we're given an angle that is on the vertex, given this angle, it's the arc is twice the length, or twice, um, two times your angle to find that. Okay. If you look at, if you had your notes from last class period, you should have. Uh, we did, talked about a formula that you multiply. So whenever you have the angle on there, you're going to multiply by two. Okay. Um, so now I can just write 360 degrees equals 180 degrees plus 62 degrees plus the measure of arc MP. Right, and we're going to try to, and that's what we're trying to solve is the measure of MP. If you want to use x, go ahead and use x. You know, it's just a variable. So now I can add these up. So I have 360 equals 242 degrees plus the measure of arc MP. Then I just subtract. I just solve. So therefore, I get um, 118 equals the measure of arc mp. Anybody have any questions on mathematically how I did that, or what I did, or why? Angel, I guess we're still having trouble with that. It's OK. I mean, I can't, I can't force and control everything. 